What's going on my YouTube friends? This is Jerry Abbott, your favorite Las Vegas realtor out here again on another beautiful sunny day in Las Vegas. Hey guys, before we check out this gorgeous model home behind me, I just wanna let you guys know, if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna learn everything there is to know about the Las Vegas real estate market, then definitely subscribe down below and give me a thumbs up like down there. Click that thumbs up like button guys, that would really help the channel out. And also guys, if you're thinking about relocating to beautiful Las Vegas, I've got your back. I'm a local realtor here. I know every inch of this city. Just call, text, or email me anytime and I'll help you find that perfect dream home. Now let's go check out this spectacular model home behind me. Okay guys, as usual, before we check out the video tour of the home, I wanna show you on the map where this community is gonna be located in the city of Las Vegas. So let's do this. Let's start in the center point right here where I put this red bar on the map. Now this is the world famous Las Vegas Strip. This is the central point of Las Vegas where everybody comes to. Here's the Harry Reid International Airport, which is only about five minutes away from the Las Vegas Strip. So if we use that as the center point to get to this community that you see here that I marked off with the arrow in the box and the pin, this is in the southwest part of the valley. So this highway right here, the 15 highway, is the north-south highway. The east side of it, that's the east side of the valley. The west side of the valley, this is the dividing line highway right here on the 15. So what we would do is we would go down, if we were starting in the central point, we would go down the 15 highway about five minutes, and then we would head west on the 215 highway all the way over here. The exit point would be right here on Durango. You'd go down here about maybe a mile and a half, two miles, and then take a side road right into the community where there's gonna be 18 semi-custom homes built. So this is only about 15 minutes away, highway driving time to get to and from the center part of Las Vegas. Let's go check out the video tour right now. So this is Pinnacle Homes' new collection called Waterstone. The base price is just over $1 million. Five bedrooms, three and a half baths with a three to four bay garage. You can see this beautiful paver driveway as we walk up, the stone front finishes, the modern garage doors. Some of these are options, but we're gonna go right inside the front and show you how gorgeous this home is. Okay guys, so let's walk right up to the front door. You see this really nice stone front finish in this recessed front entryway. We're gonna walk right in. You're about to see probably one of the greatest foyer areas and great room areas ever in a model right there. I'm gonna show you that after. You're gonna see just how expansive that really is in just a second, but I wanna just kinda of go over here to the right first and show you this nice little study, the way they have this set up as a private office. So you guys can see how nicely appointed this home office is, the way they have it set up in the model. And again, the model always is gonna show you everything possible in terms of options, the way they're gonna furnish it. So I'm just gonna kind of show you a full glance of the room here. And by the way, this is the room that is just outside of the front right door area right here in the foyer. That's part of the great room, which is unbelievable, which you're gonna see in a couple minutes. But across over to the other side of the grand foyer are a couple of bedrooms right here. So a quick left over here, and then you have kind of a little bit of a hallway before we go down the hallway, we're gonna show you the bathroom right here. So you can see the nice vanity and the toilet right there. So you have a nice powder room here. Really high ceilings too in here, nine foot tall. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just kinda of go down the hallway a little bit here. That door right there is locked. That leads to the garage door. So just before that, is one of the secondary bedrooms right here. So we're gonna just take a little walk in, kind of give you a full view here. Great natural light. Again, nice high ceilings in here, makes the room really look a lot bigger than it is. That's a full queen with two night tables there on the end. And you have a nice size walk-in closet here. I'm gonna show you a little bit deeper in here. So pretty good space there for a secondary bedroom closet. And then right over here to the left is a Jack and Jill bathroom. So the Jack and Jill obviously is right between the other bedroom that you can see right over there on the other side. So you have a nice double vanity here for shared sinks. And there's the bedroom over there. And this is a full bath here. So you can take a look here the way they have this set up. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just cut across the bathroom here and this leads into the other secondary bedroom right here. This one is furnished a little bit different, still queen size bed. 
Again, the ceilings really make the rooms look a lot better than a lot of the other models that have smaller height ceilings, like usually around eight feet. These are nine foot. Over here in the corner, again, another nice walk-in closet. Okay, so we're gonna back out of that closet here, and then we're gonna come right out of this bedroom here. So we're gonna go right out. Bathroom there is to the right. And then that hallway down there is to the right as well. We're gonna make a quick left back over here. And then we're gonna make another quick left. Again, just to show you real quick, that was the original bathroom, the powder room. Okay, so we're gonna back out of the bathroom here, come right back out into the main great room. And when I say great room, this is about as good as it absolutely can get. Take a look at the kitchen and the living room area. There's a game room in the back left corner where you'll just see right there towards the back left. There's a pool table in the back. So you have an entire sitting area, breakfast nook. It does not get better than that in terms of open concept living. So what's really unique about this property because it's on a half acre lot, you have a nice outdoor sitting patio area right there. And now I wanna show you another angle of the great room from the breakfast nook area. Take a look at that guys. All right, so let's walk a little bit over towards the kitchen area here. Huge island here, waterfall island, stainless steel appliances, upgraded cabinets, countertops, flooring, so we're gonna walk just a little bit over to the corner here. I'm gonna show you a little bit more of the kitchen in just a second. Just wanna show you another angle of the great room so you can just see it from all angles. Okay, so before we go a little deeper into the kitchen there, I wanna just back the camera out here because just off to the right here is the laundry room over to the left just behind the kitchen. And again, this is fully upgraded in terms of flooring, You've got your countertops that are upgraded. You've got your cabinetry upgraded and backsplash. So we're gonna back out of there and then we're gonna walk right into another secondary bedroom. Again, really, really good size here. That's a full king size bed, two night tables. Give you a little bit of an angle upward just to show you again, the nine foot ceilings. Great space for a secondary bedroom, great natural light. Over here in the corner, just gonna make a quick little right turn in there just to show you the bathroom. And this is a full bathroom as you can see there with the shower, toilet, and we're gonna come right back out. Kind of spin the camera around here just to show you a little bit of a different angle there so you can see the bedroom a little bit more. So we're gonna walk back out now before we do, I just want to show you again, another walk-in closet that each bedroom has. Okay, so now we're just gonna walk back out here and we're gonna go right towards the kitchen area just to show you a little bit of a different angle here. Just an absolutely stunning kitchen the way they have this put together. So let's take a look at the island here a little bit. You have a full undermount sink, dishwasher here built into the island. And over here, we've got the double built-in ovens, a lot of shelf space here as well. And now check out this pantry, guys. I hope the camera can do it justice. This is about as big a pantry as I've seen in a model home. That's gotta be close to eight, maybe 10 feet worth of depth, easily eight feet in terms of the shelving up there. So you can see the upgraded countertops and the backsplash. You have a full Thermador stove here. Now these are all upgraded obviously because the models are obviously gonna have all of the top end options. So let's turn around here and walk over to this sitting area here. Just an unbelievable open space. It's actually a bit overwhelming guys. I mean, this is a single story with the largest open living space I've ever seen in a model home. And I've been in a lot of models. So before we check out a little bit more of that great room area, we're gonna go down over here, make a quick left turn, and this is going to show you the primary bedroom. So obviously you can see this is a gorgeous full-size king bed, two night tables, incredible natural light, nine foot ceilings. Okay, so let's go over to the bathroom here. 
and you can see just how large that shower is. Looks like it can fit about six or seven people in there with the tub built in. And they have dual vanities here. Now one of them is over here. It's almost like a makeup area. And then I'm gonna turn the camera over here to the left just to show you how the other vanity is situated on the other side. Just wanna give you guys a full view of the primary bathroom here. We'll walk in a little bit deeper just to kind of show you a little bit of a different angle. So you got that full vanity over there. That leads you back out over there where you can see the primary bedroom. And now what I want to do is I want to show you the closet. Now, before we do that, I want to just show you real quick the water closet. And then one of the best primary closets I've seen. Now, obviously this is upgraded with the shelving and the cabinetry, but I want to show you a full view here. I'm going to try to give you as much of a view as I can. Pretty amazing, huh guys? Take a look at that. I'm going to give you one more glance through it. That's what your primary closet can look like, guys, if you're interested in this home. So let's back out of here now. Let's go back out into the primary bedroom. So we're not done yet with the primary bedroom, guys. We have another little sitting area right there. And by the way, I am gonna show you the backyard, which is absolutely amazing. But over here to the right, an entire separate sitting room, the way they have this set up inside the primary bedroom. I'm just absolutely amazed at how incredible this entire home is. The way they have that set up, obviously, is a sitting room. You could create a little entertainment room in there if you want. Here's another angle of the primary. And then one view real quick before we actually go out into the backyard, just to show you what a half acre lot looks like in Las Vegas. Check this out. Not a bad view, huh? And right there, by the way, that's a separate casita. We're going in there afterwards as well, but I want you to get a full view of the backyard when I actually go in there in just a minute. So let's walk back out now of the primary bedroom. We're gonna make a quick right turn. And then this again takes us out into the sitting area, the main sitting area anyway, of the great room. But again, one more view from a different angle. Just look at that open living space. Just does not get better on a single story home. All right, so we're gonna walk across now to the other side of the great room and you can see the way they have this set up with a pool table here. And again, a pool table is eight feet long. So you can see just how vast this space is over here in the back left corner of the great room. I'm gonna give you a couple of different angles real quick. All right, so now let's make a quick left turn right over to the window here. You're going to see the other vantage point of the backyard. And now we're going to go right outside. So you have a full covered patio, outdoor kitchen, built in fireplace, stone wall finish. This is very upgraded, obviously, but again, it's a model. It's going to have all the upgraded finishes in here. Now, the way they have this backyard set up, you can see that sitting area in the back left corner. You have artificial turf. That's the casita. We're going to walk over here. And I'm going to show you another section of another beautiful covered patio area right there. Okay, so now let's turn the camera around just a little bit here just to show you 180 degree opposite turn. Back left corner sitting area the way they have this set up. Now, if you have the budget, you can certainly put a pool in and do whatever you want. This here, again, is the option of having a separate casita. So you have a guest house right here. We're going to walk in right now. So now this is a really nice option, guys. This is really multi-generational living on the same property here to have this separate casita or guest house. You have a full living room area, sitting area, entertainment area, however you want to set it up. Full kitchen right here. We're gonna walk right over here to the closet. That closet houses a separate little laundry room with your washer and dryer. You guys can take a quick look at that. Okay, so we're gonna close that up. Quick little left turn. And you have a full bedroom set up here. This is a queen size bed, two night tables, a lot of space, great natural light, same kind of ceiling height, 
walk-in closet right there. Over to the other side, full bath. So I'm gonna sneak in here just a little bit deeper, guys, just to show you the full shower setup. So it's a nice full bath in here. And then we're just gonna back right out and come right out towards that kitchen living area. That's a really nice setup, guys. Not a lot of model homes have this option. To have a Casita guest house is a really special option for families that need the extra room. Okay, so let's walk back out and I'm gonna show you another full angle, different angle here of the backyard. This is what a half acre looks like, guys. Very rare in Las Vegas. Plenty of room for a pool if that's in your budget. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video tour. This is one of the most spectacular models I have been in. If you guys are thinking about relocating to beautiful Las Vegas, whether it's to a brand new home community like this or a resale home in Las Vegas, I've got your back. I'm a local realtor here. Just call, text, or email me anytime and I'll help you find that perfect dream home. I'll see you guys in the next video.